With a wave of his hand and flick of the wrist, Gaylord Perry had fans and opponents alike concentrating on what he might have applied to the baseball. What was unquestionable during his 22-year big league career, however, was that Perry's incredibly durable arm produced results unlike almost any other modern era pitcher. Born September 15, 1938, and raised on a farm in Williamston, North Carolina, Gaylord Jackson Perry followed his brother Jim to the big leagues, debuting for the San Francisco Giants during their 1962 National League pennant winning season. By 1964, Perry had recorded the first of 17 200 inning campaigns. Using a darting fastball and pinpoint control, Perry became a workhorse, reaching the 300 inning mark in both 1969 and 70, while leading the National League in wins in the latter season. Perhaps worried about the mileage on his right arm, the Giants traded Perry to the Indians prior to the 1972 season. In Cleveland, Perry thrived under the biggest workload of his career, winning the American League Cy Young Award in his first season with the Tribe, while totaling 24 wins and 29 complete games. In that season, Perry earned a win, loss, or save in each of the 41 games he pitched. After three straight seasons with at least 322 innings pitched, the Indians traded Perry to the Rangers. He began a nomadic career path at that point, going from the Rangers to the Padres, then back to the Rangers before finishing his career with the Yankees, Braves, Mariners, and Royals. In 1978 with San Diego, Perry became the first pitcher to win the Cy Young Award in both leagues when he posted a 21-6 record and a 2.73 earned run average during his age 39 season. By this time, Perry had published a 1974 autobiography, Me and the Spitter, in which he revealed that he had applied foreign substances to the ball in the past, but no longer did. For the rest of his life, Perry played coy and was only once ejected from a game for throwing an illegal pitch. That came in 1982, the same year he became the Majors' first 300-game winner since early win in 1963. When he retired after the 1983 season, Perry had totaled 314 wins, 3,534 strikeouts, third on the all-time list at the time of his retirement, and a 3.11 ERA. His six seasons with at least 300 innings pitched are the most of any pitcher whose career began after 1960. Gaylord Perry was elected to the Hall of Fame in 1991.